What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on one of the most popular questions that I get on my channel and that is how would I power my air conditioner with solar panels? Um, I'll show you why this is really not super practical. It can be done but we'll go ahead and use an example of a small window unit air conditioner to do the math. Okay so for this example I chose a General Electric model. It's a half ton unit or 6000 BTUs uh, that's commonly available here in the United States and so I'll put the model information up there uh, but basically this this unit will cover about 250 square feet of living space so we have to make a few assumptions um, we have to assume and this is a conservative estimate but I'm gonna assume that this air conditioner is gonna run one-third of the time that's probably like I said very conservative It's probably gonna run more like half the time or better especially during the summer but let's just say it runs a third of the time the next assumption we need to make is how many sun hours per day that we will get on our solar panel sun hours are direct sunlight on the solar panel so we only get a limited number of hours per day you may have 12 hours of daylight in the day but you may only have five or six sun hours per day which is directly hitting the panels Sun hours are going to vary wildly by where you live, but we're going to go ahead and use four and a half sun hours per day on average, which is kind of a middle of the road estimate for where you're for in the United States. If you live in the Northeast, you're going to have less. If you live in the Southwest, you're going to have more. But we're going to go ahead and use four and a half. So the first thing we need to figure out is how many watts per hour we are going to use. This air conditioner uses 4.9 amps at 115 volts for a total of 563 and a half watts. The next thing we need to look at is how much this air conditioner is going to run, how, how long it's going to run. And we already made the assumption that it was going to run one third of the day, which is eight hours. So I don't want to get into any complicated math and lose any of you guys, but there is a multiplier that we need to apply to account for clouds passing over the solar panels. This is a worst case scenario. Um, chances are if you've got bright sunshine every day that you, this won't be necessary, but we have to make sure that your system is going to run no matter what. And so we're going to use a 1.55 multiplier in our calculations. So why do we need over 2100 watts of solar power to power a 565 watt air conditioner? Well, the simple answer is because we have to go with an off-grid solar panel system with batteries. Now why is that? Well, because if you want to run this around the clock off of solar, truly off of solar, then you need to have that power, that excess power stored in batteries. If you have a grid tied system where you're feeding power into the grid, then the solar panels will not work after a certain time period, so you'll truly be powering your air conditioner off of the grid for the overnight hours and if it was overcast. The other thing to think about is that you need so much power during those limited sun hours each day that to provide enough excess power above and beyond the 565 watts of, of power that your air conditioner is consuming that it will, it will put enough power in those batteries that it will last you all night. Okay, so what did we learn? We learned that an air conditioner takes a lot of power to run. It runs around the clock, and one-third of the time is probably a conservative estimate. You may be looking at more like a 3,000-watt system just to run one small window unit air, air conditioner. It's just not feasible. And you're looking at, for a 2,100-watt panel system, you're probably looking at four or $5,000 at the very least to get the batteries, the charge controller, the inverter, all the stuff that you need to make this work. It just isn't worth it. It can be done, yes, and someday I'm going to prove that it can be done in the real world, but really it's not practical and it takes an unbelievable amount of money to make it work. So hopefully this answers some of those questions, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash LDS Reliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.